It's Jan's Christmas television special where Jan goes shopping on the downtown Boulder Mall and all over Boulder looking for the best gifts for Christmas. Coming up next on Jan's Got Tonight. It's Christmas here in Boulder, uh, back at Boulder Toyota with Dave Knowles. We're going to talk about the new Scion behind me, the uh, hot new Scion display. Hottest new car in the United States, very hot in Boulder. Today we're going to talk about the Scion story. What we have is we have the XA, the XB, and the TC. The nice thing about the vehicles, with the pure pricing, it is what it is. It's less expensive than any other Toyota we sell. And you can customize the vehicle and put accessories on it to make it exactly what you want in your car. The name Scion is actually a Japanese attribute word that actually means descendant. Scion means the descendant of Toyota. The people average about 26-year-old male and female, very similar in both male and female. It's not like it's uh, one more than the other. Uh, gas mileage is one of the biggest concerns yeah. that people have. It's very fuel efficient, it's very well. It actually comes from our Echo power plant, which is then from the Tercels. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, the XB and the XA share the same motor, same kind of horsepower, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But one looks totally different than the other. The XB, of course, the Xbox, is very trendy looking, and it has a lot of capabilities of modification. The XA is more of an efficient vehicle for somebody who wants a wagon and just to get around. Kind of a sport utility, but kind of an efficient vehicle at the same time. The target market is really designed for the youth generation. The people a little bit younger, uh, primarily around anywhere from 19 to about 30 years old. People that are looking for a standalone, look individual type of vehicle. This is a special edition Scion 2005 XA. The neat thing about this is it's a one-of-a-kind vehicle. It even has a plate on it that tells the number that it was built. There's 1,500 of them built. We have one of the last remaining ones out there. This one comes with some nice upgraded wheels, some power package stuff, traction control. This one we put a couple of snowboards, actually Scion snowboards, on the roof. You can order custom wheels or custom hubcaps. This is an XB with 18-inch alloy wheels. It's got a 1.5 liter motor, 108 horsepower, it's got a 30 mile an hour city and a 34 highway, even in an automatic. It's got a lot of room inside, easy to get in and out of. This is a five passenger vehicle and it's got room for you, Jan. This vehicle comes with the capability of an MP3 player. It also comes with some nice modifications like if you want to do a colored steering wheel, fog lamps, security systems, and most importantly, Jan, you look dope with this. Thank you, dope. This is the 2005 Scion TC Coupe. It's a five speed, it has 160 horsepower. It comes standard with a lot of nice features like 17 inch alloy wheels with ZR rated tires. It has a solid glass sunroof that goes from the front to the back of the vehicle. It has fold down seat capability for a lounging effect. It had a nice, uh, convenient, easy to get in and out of. It's got nice things like ABS, it's standard. It comes with a uh, standard power package, power windows, mirrors, locks, cruise, tilt, air, CD. This has a glass sunroof, which makes it glass all the way from the front of the vehicle to the back of the vehicle. Even the back passengers have a closure that they can open and close, as well as this glass all open. The stereo is hidden until you want to see it, and then once you do have it out, it's got an MP3 player capability. Zero to 60 in around eight seconds. Here's the new really cool thing about Scion. When you uh, order one, you come in here to the computer room, then you go online, and then he is actually designing his own car. No one else does that. Next on Jan's Christmas TV special, we go back and visit with Susan Melching Skincare. Susan's going to be telling us some ideas for holiday skincare. At Susan Melching Skincare, we're serious about your skin. We want to optimize, maintain, balance, reconnect, and correct your most precious asset, your skin. Our clinic offers the most innovative, scientifically advanced treatments available today. And combined with the nurturing atmosphere of a spa, it leads us to a most unique experience for you. We offer a variety of different types of skin treatments, each customized to suit your individual needs. We offer microdermabrasion. It's a very effective form of peeling and stimulating the skin. My specialty is permanent makeup, lymphobiology, which helps to strengthen the immune system with a very gentle lymphatic massage, facial toning of the muscles with using electrical currents so that it tones the muscular structure underneath that beautiful skin that we're giving you, anti-aging therapies, therapeutic massage, as well as hot stone massage therapy. We do waxing, permanent hair removal as electrolysis, lash and brow tinting, we use the most advanced computer-assisted skin analysis techniques available today. 
What we do with our skin analysis is be able to take a photograph here. So let's take a little bit closer look at your skin. So we can see where the pigments are, whether they're surface, whether they're mm -hmm. deeper. These are your capillaries, these are your pore openings, this is little bits of dry skin. Mm -hmm. The first thing we're going to do is cleanse your skin. Mm -hmm. You will look fabulous tonight when I finish with your skin. Mm. This is microdermabrasion. I'm using mineral crystals and vacuum suction. Mm -hmm. And the mineral crystals, we vacuum them across the skin at a really high velocity, removing all the dead and damaged cells. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is a preparatory step that this defats the surface of the skin, and it also has what they call prostaglandin E inhibitors, which are anti-inflammatory. So it reduces the amount of irritation that he's going to experience from the rest of this peel. This step is the vitamin C peel. This is a 20% vitamin C. Vitamin C penetrates down into the dermis, helps to stimulate collagen and elastin production. It will help to calm and soothe the skin rather than irritating it. The next step we're going to do is a salicylic, lactic, and citric acid peel at 24%. The treatment we're about to do is called lymphobiology, lymphatic drainage using a gentle pulsed vacuum. So what I'm going to start with is an integral DNA, which is a specific serum that will help this process. And then this part is, I'll apply a very hydrating mask. And this is eight times faster than manual lymphatic drainage massage, plus it's very, very peaceful. The rhythm that this operates at is very similar to your body's own rhythm of the lymph flow. Your lymphatic system is your body's second circulatory system. Here's Jen after her lymphobiology treatment. Look, her skin is just glowing. She's not puffy anymore. She's ready for the evening. And here's the new Jan. New eyebrows, new face. Doesn't he look fabulous? Continuing here on our holiday TV special, we're back at Marisol Imports visiting with Marg and Dennis and looking at uh, some more Zapotec rugs and things from Mexico that are made for Christmas, uh, including um, beautiful uh, ornaments and also some Colorado-made uh, ornaments for Christmas, too. On this edition of Jan Scott Tonight continues. Dennis, Dennis de Colorado, Dennis Marisol Imports. It's our favorite time of year when we have the most Zapotec rugs of the whole year. All our families have provided us with all the weavings for the winter season. Colors are the most varied. The selection is the best. Christmas is the season when people come from all over the country, come from all over to uh, see the rugs, see what we've acquired throughout the year. These are all Zapotec rugs from Oaxaca, from southern Mexico. Um, been working with the families for 20 years, all hand woven. These are certainly bright Christmas colors, but we have a little of everything. Pastel rugs, these new pastels are just gorgeous. Earth tones, beautiful earth tones. It's just so, much, so good for decorating for the holidays. Um, Zapotec weavers are um, Mexican. In two decades, they've been really commercially successful because they weave in the colors that we need to decorate our home. Very successful with their weavings. Um, the colors that they weave are exactly what we need to decorate our homes. These are more another tradition in uh, Oaxaca, uh, working tin work. Here's something that's just you know, been unpainted, but the typically painted with all the bright colors. Uh, <laughs> we call we call these earthquake detectors, but uh, um, looks like uh, Christmas turkeys to me. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Shake your heads, little boys and girls. <laughs> Very popular in California. <laughs> right. really? Yeah. Earthquake detectors. And all the churches all across Mexico, little milagros, and people collect these to uh, is talismans, uh, guardians, um, Oaxacan folk art, all handmade, hand-painted. Little ceramic birds. <laughs> the birds, and those are actually ornaments, Christmas ornaments. People buy them all year long just to hang from plants. Uh, natural beeswax candles from Mexico. and That's why we get those for just more folk art. Our family actually made these little Colorado cutouts. Um, dad 
brothers, sisters painted these. So this family really? ornament tradition. Little Southwest themes, coyotes. And then the little, uh, the little snow people are made from uh, a family here in Colorado also. And they're just sock dolls. They're just so adorable that uh, we have to have some of those every year. This is from Chichi Castanango. It's gorgeous. All woven by hand, not embroidered. It's amazing. Put that over the top of the Christmas tree. <laughs> it could be a Christmas skirt. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a Christmas <laughs> centerpiece. <laughs> Christmas television special here the first week of Christmas on Jan Scott tonight. We go back in and visit our old friend uh, Gilbert Carpell at uh, Pac-Mail. People have lined up to uh, send things all over the world and this is uh, actually a pretty fast way of doing it. Uh, between here and the post offices the lines are minuscule. This is uh, our 16th year of doing the holiday rush Christmas and Hanukkah and everything else that goes on during December and we uh, we ship a lot of packages our volume goes up tremendously and we have we have lines in here but we get people out of here in five or ten minutes uh, they really don't wait very long at all that's the whole reason why they come here for the convenience of not having to stand in line for an hour and a half at UPS and uh, it gets pretty fun we have about eight people working here and uh, could probably see about two three hundred people every day during the busiest days the best thing to do to for us to be able to handle you really, really quickly is have everything ready to go, have your addresses ready and have everything organized. Just come in and fill out a form on the counter and step up to the counter. We just take people, take care of people as quickly as possible and we don't have a formal line unless there are a lot of people here, but we'll have three or four people working on, at the counter helping people all day long. At the post office or UPS, uh, people are going to spend a lot of time waiting in line. and Nobody's really going to help them until they get to the counter and even then they're lucky if they get someone who's going to be nice. During Christmas season, we're, we primarily ship with uh, UPS, FedEx, and the Postal Service. As it gets closer to Christmas, then we'll send things by air services, three-day, two-day. We'll guarantee the air services. We have a money-back guarantee that if things don't get there in time for Christmas, we'll give people back their money for the shipping. Everything we pack, we make sure it gets out of here in totally safe condition. If it's fragile, we'll wrap it in bubble wrap and peanuts and double box it. If not, then we'll just put some packing peanuts or packing paper, depending on whether people bring things in in gift boxes already and then we just have to box it up from there or whether they have to be packed up like a large picture or something uh, electronic needs to be packed up from scratch but uh, nothing leaves here if it's not packed right and our claim ratio is really really low that's another thing that we do versus uh, what the post office UPS does if you don't if you don't pack it and you don't pack it right uh, you basically um, can't get anything taken care of there most popular box for Christmas would probably be that perfect medium size. Maybe the next size down from that would be like a book box. Uh, the larger boxes, we do a lot of those, but you got to have a lot of gifts to fill that up. But yeah, medium size, we use probably about three, four hundred of those during December. And we probably go through about 5,000 boxes in the month of December. The best and least expensive time to ship would be this week, first week of Christmas, of uh, December. Every time after the 10th, it starts getting more and more dicey. We send more and more by three-day and then two-day. And if you're willing to spend a little bit extra money, we can absolutely do it until the last couple of days. We're here at Polished Hand and Nail Spa with Tammy Greening, the owner, who recently won Daily Camera's Gold Awards for Best Nail Salon in Boulder. And she's also our Best Nail Spa to come and get your nails done on Jan's Holiday TV Special. And here, Kelly is beginning a manicure. This is the spa and pedicure area here at Polish. We even have some younger girls getting some pedicures for the holidays. Want to be on TV? No! <laughs> So here at Polish, they do Mystic Tan, which is the hot new thing in UV-free tanning. You step in and they spray you, and within seconds you have instant tan without the UV rays. At Polish, they also have the stand-up bed, if you prefer standing as opposed to laying. It gives you a more even tan, and yeah, here's the stand-up bed. Nicola Bass made 
So this is the regular laying bed. It's the Sun Dash. Um, obviously, you see there's lots of bulbs and gives you nice, good coverage. And here's one of the biggest beds in Boulder, the Classic 600. <laughs> Big enough for two. Also at Polish Nails, they have a beautiful jewelry case with wonderful holiday gift ideas. Here at Polish, they use a top-of-the-line nail lacquer, OPI. Here, Tammy is applying acrylic nails. Tammy's dealing with a client that she's had for 10 years. As you can see, the acrylic looks nice and natural. And now in the final process of her manicure, B is getting her paint dried. And here Tammy is beginning the first step of an acrylic set. So in this process, Tammy files down the natural nail in order to create a solid adhesive for the acrylics. And look at this beautiful cover story in the Boulder Daily Camera showing just another reason why polish is the best in Boulder for nails. And she's also our best nail spa to come and get your nails done on Jan's holiday TV special. It's holiday season here at Perry Shoe Shop. My name is George Perry and my wife Becky over here and Rogers over there and, and a couple more guys are back there working hard. Bobblers, huh? Becky is our expert seamstress mm -hmm. and repairs a lot of gloves, purses. 1970. You know, we met 25 years ago at the shoe store and we got married. We've been in business since 1922, and this time of the year, we uh, repair a lot of boots. This particular pair of boots, uh, we're making the calves smaller. We work on jackets as well, um, putting in zippers, sewing on buttons, and fixing rips. Popular item for this year, holiday season, are Old Friends Genuine Sheepskin Slippers. And they have rubber soles or leather soles, and they come in colors too. They also make a boot, very nice looking, and have a very nice durable sole on the bottom. We just started carrying children's boots for the very first time, a line made by Fry Boot, and they come in red and tan and black and pink. They're really great gifts. A very stylish boot for women, have the red stars, the hearts, and the roses. We just started carrying felt hats for this season, and they are waterproof and crushable. We have purses and bags for women, um, and we also carry the fry boot line for women's and men's. These belts are really good quality. Men's, uh, you have your basic plain belts, or you can have woven belt. Here at Perry's, we uh, fix a lot of Birkenstocks, like taking your old straps off, mm -hmm. taking one of these new footbeds, and using your straps, and then putting a sole of your choice. You could have like a lug sole or the original Birkenstock sole, mm -hmm. and make them like brand new. During the winter, um, we get a lot of boots coming in with just basic leather soles mm -hmm. that are pretty slick and absorb moisture. So what we can do is take a sole with tread and put it there on the bottom and it gives the boots some really nice grip. We get a lot of boots in here that they want different style heels. Mm -hmm. So we take the, their heel off and this particular pair of boots, we made these by hand. Oh. We made these wider and taller to, um, to give her a little more stability. So we can do all styles. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho. Next we visit with Kyle Frazier at Dream Garage Cabinets coming up on uh, this edition of Jan Scott Tonight. You'd think I was in the Yale Law School Library. Well, I'm not. I'm in a Dream Garage.
This is a concept that uh, has been around for quite some time in other areas of the country. It's just starting to take off here in Colorado and uh, what we do is we come in and solve your storage needs. I used to have stuff piled from floor to ceiling. It looked terrible when you drove in here. Well now it's all hidden. It's still all that junk still around. It's just behind the doors now instead of out where you can see it. This is a, a company and a concept that has actually been around since 1984. Uh, we have just moved up here from Arizona and uh, we're expanding into the Colorado Territory. We do workbenches. Uh, this particular workbench I've put uh, both styles of my drawers in. I've got four smaller drawers or we can do three larger drawers. You can put 75 pounds in each drawer so that you've got plenty of storage space for everything. We've got uppers that we can put above doorways, uh, all kinds of different sizes. I'm fortunate enough to have eight foot garage doors here. Normally garage doors are only about seven foot tall so we offer cabinets that will fit underneath of your garage door, leave plenty of space to open and close the garage door. And then we go clear to nine foot and even up to ten foot if you've got a really large ceiling that you want all the storage space that you can handle in your home. These cabinets are two foot deep. These cabinets are 16 inches deep. There's not a th single thing in the basement. Everything fits out here in the garage. This is a European design. Notice how you don't see any hinges. Everything's all concealed. It's very clean. This is the Elite Series, which has a nice aluminum edge on it. You can do it without the aluminum edge on it and uh, get even a cleaner look. You leave the handles off and just open the doors by the top of the door. This is a great example of a lot of the homes that we go into from Castle Rock to uh, Fort Collins. Every gentleman would love to have a NASCAR garage. Every woman would love to have an immaculate garage. When you pull in, everything's clean. This is a concept that has done very well in Phoenix and uh, is taking off quite well here in Colorado as well. This is what we've done here at Jan's garage. Uh, due to limited space, we didn't put the doors on the front of it because they were gonna swing out into the garage too far, so we've just did these all open face. We put in a couple of nice simple bike racks to get the bikes up and out of the way and uh, back here on the shelves we've done just a nice clean two-sided melamine face uh, shelves with extruded aluminum on them added support these will hold 175 pounds. We added a little workbench over here so that you can do all your nice little projects. There's a light underneath of here that uh, um, for a task light and then some nice storage clear to the ceiling. And finally here we've got this nice clean simple rack to hang all your brooms and your rakes, all your shovels, get them up and out of the way. So here you can see what we can do in a nice small garage. Uh, you've already seen what we can do in the large garage, but this is a nice clean example of what we can do here in some of the older communities here in Boulder. Here we are at uh, Camille's on the Pearl Street Mall. Uh, they say, return to the sunny cafe where friendly faces talk leisurely over a fresh, delicious meal and time just seems to stand still inviting, tempting, refreshing. Well, that's Camille's Sidewalk Cafe, just below the Pearl Street Mall. Come in, relax, pull up a chair, put down your cares, and return to that place you can't let go of. Ryan and Ashley own this place, uh, opened it a few months ago. This is us, and we love it so much. We love the community, and it's just great to be here on the Pearl Street Mall. The theme is just a place where you can, it's fast, casual dining. You walk up, you get what you want to eat, you can sit, relax, enjoy it, have a great light meal. Healthy alternative to fast food. California influenced sidewalk cafe, so lots of bright colors and sidewalk seating outside. Right here we have a veggianini panini. It's a, on grilled focaccia bread. We have grilled eggplants, uh, roasted red peppers, feta cheese in there for the vegetarians out there. We have a tofu option substitute for anything on the menu. Over here we have the fabulous Camille's Club. So it's for the meat lover out there. Oh yeah, look at we this. We got it turkey, really ham, bacon, chicken Caesar wrap. It has chicken in there, Caesar dressing, Parmesan cheese, romaine lettuce, Roma tomatoes. And it's wrapped in an herb garlic tortilla. That is the house salad with chicken breast on it. Very good. It has tomatoes. Pepper jack cheese. Pepper jack cheese. Carrots, black olives, sprouts. Water chestnut. We've taken the per East Pearl Street by storm because there is no other smoothie place 
down here. We got the banana berry right here. Uh -huh. It's got strawberries, blueberries, bananas, honey. Made with real bananas, real strawberries, real blueberries, and real honey from bees. No, no, they come from the moon. <laughs> <laughs> that is a mocha cappuccino. Mocha, mocha cappuccino. People come here for coffee. Oh yeah. Timed up. Yeah. Oh yes, right. definitely. We have organic espresso beans that we use. We have a wide variety of desserts. Right now, we're featuring here the chocolate caramel mm -hmm. truffle cake, and we have the fabulous cinnamon roll. And you bake all this here. Just the cookies and then yep. everything else we get from a bakery. We cater to everyone up and down the mall and then we have the wireless internet so when you're here dining you can just jump on the computer and then we also have games for the games families. For the families. Yep. Tons of Good. fun stuff to do yep. here. And they started with your mother? Camille. And, and your, your mother Camille and your... Camille's my aunt. Well that's it here from Camille's on Jan Scott tonight. Our best of and fall back to see TV special. Hangouts, hello. Well, next we go into Hangouts here on the Pearl Street Mall. Uh, it's been here for 15 years. It's a legendary store, and we're going to learn about the history of hammocks. People have the misconception that actually hammocks are used outside. Well, in fact, mo most hammocks are used indoors. And now Plus, you can sleep with the family dog. <laughs> I don't have a dog. Okay, if you have a cat, yeah, my name is Beto, and uh, you know I've been working with these hammocks for 20 years. I've had the store here 15 years. I used to sell them in the canyon from my van, hanging from a tree, and uh, you know moved here in about '86, and I've been in the same spot ever since. It's on the Pearl Street Mall, across from the courthouse building. There used to be a lot more street entertainers. There used to be even a busier place than it is now. It's still pretty busy. This is a Mayan hammock. It's made by Mayan Indians or descendants of Mayan Indians. It's actually woven by hand in their homes. And the Mayans have been making hammocks for thousands of years and using them as beds and sleeping in them. Does it change it uh, for a... Sure, as long as it's, you know, in new condition, yeah. you know, then it's fine. You know, if you hang it up once or twice. You know. Yeah. yeah, and it, it's it, it, okay. I've got plenty of space and it's working great, but I think, I think the king... The bigger one, yeah. Do. This is a Brazilian hammock. It's actually the world's most popular hammock. It's used as a bed in South America, and there's about 50 million South Americans who sleep in this oh, type kidding. of hammock. This hammock is totally handmade, including the cloth, and it's really super comfortable. Let me sit down and I'll show you. It's so easy to get in and out of these, and... They don't tip over, they're really safe for kids. Chairs here, like this one here, is made similarly to the uh, Brazilian hammock with the same technique, but it works better with a limited amount of space. Yeah, all these hammocks over here are Mayan hammocks. They're actually uh, made out of a thin string, and they're you know one of the most comfortable hammocks in the world. Hammocks have been used by uh, civilizations for thousands of years as beds. Uh, initially, uh, in this continent, they were made by the Indians, and the Spanish, when they came over here, discovered the hammock. Most hammocks are used indoors, and these hammocks here are more comfortable than most household furniture, and they easily store out of the way when you're not using them, and you can easily hang them up. Back here at Cafe Siena, it's early <laughs> in the morning, <laughs> no one's up, everybody in the million dollar homes around here are sleeping. Look at this breakfast that we have, Theo of course, the owner, Splendid Cafe. Yeah, we're on uh, 13th Street, 80, 1801 13th Street, right in between Canyon and Walnut. This is Cafe Siena, Golden One Plaza. What beautiful fountain out in front. We just put that in. Just put the oh. fountain in. In the winter time, this is the ice skating rink. Oh, I know we were here last yep. year, had everybody skating. This is kind of all the stuff we have for breakfast. Uh, we do breakfast paninis. Um, 
pretty much anything you want to put in there, we put in there. And, uh, eggs, salsa, you know, we put tomatoes, ham, sausage, whatever you want to put in there. And, Look at this. this what, do you want to describe this? This, this is, is an eggle sandwich. We do eggs and cheese and meat and veggies, whatever you want on a bagel. Um, and then we have breakfast wraps too, oh, yeah, which are, are really awesome. Good. It's green. Why is it green? It's spinach tortilla. We have a few different types of tortillas. We put those on um, and they are delicious. Uh, these are just some baked goods that we have. We, just like most of our stuff, we get from a local bakery. These particular items are from Brillig Works. Uh, the croissant is from Bavarian Bakery. Um, we get stuff from Bread Works. We just kind of get a variety of stuff from, from a variety of local places. So, My wife makes the cookies and the brownies. Oh, yeah. Brownies. Yes. Right. Which are wonderful, of course. These guys are local. These guys are great. Yeah, the guys who make Izzy, yeah. They're, They're great. great, yeah. They're yeah. great. Good people. Good people over there. So really, breakfast, lunch. Breakfast, lunch right now. Yep. Um, early evenings, we do have... Bring your bike. The court is beautiful. You it's can beautiful. Here. You can lay out here in the sun. It's definitely a great place to come, ride your bike. There's obviously plenty of parking for your bike. And uh, we cater to that. We keep a, a pump on hand for, for cyclists and small tools. Music? Music. Um, yeah, starting the third week of August, we're going to start music on Fridays and Saturdays. We do have free wireless too, um, and that's available all the time, and that goes anywhere out in this courtyard, actually, you can get free wireless, so, yeah. What's really cool about this place is if you come here in the morning, say 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning, ride your bike down, um, have coffee, uh, have a pastry, um, and then go back on your bike ride, go to work, because we are in the business district of Boulder. To stop in here, have a latte, have your coffee, have a bagel with um, egg on it, and, uh, and then you know go home, take a shower, <clears throat> and then go to work, because this is where the success happens. Here, we are in the heart of, the, I mean, I just, I'm just pumped up just talking about it. Fridays and Saturdays, there's music in August, right? You'll have rock and roll. Towards the jazz, end of August, right? People dancing in the square. Next, we visit with Marlene and Peter here at Belgium Bakery in Boulder. It wins the Best Bakery in Boulder Award year after year after year. Plus, their soups are to die for. Just the best soups in Boulder. Also, look at this. Real European pastries. You don't find these anywhere in Boulder. We serve soup for lunch and we serve it all year long. In winter, of course, it's a much bigger hit than in summer, but we serve it through the summer. We make all our soups from scratch right here in the bakery. We use the very best and freshest ingredients. We have a couple really popular soups too. We make our tomato vegetable. We also make a chicken noodle soup. Potato leek is a really good one too. And we'll try to come up with a couple new ones again for the winter time. For breakfast, we have our regular breakfast pastries. We also have croissants. These are our raisin rolls. They're a Danish, similar to a cinnamon roll, but we don't use cinnamon. These are our cherry rolls, which have a little bit of vanilla custard in there, and they have cherries on there. And we have our chocolate croissants. It's also a Danish with a small bar of chocolate in there and then covered with chocolate. Those are all breakfast items. And we also do a breakfast special, which is steamed scrambled eggs on a croissant, which is really healthy, no butter, no oil. Uh, or javane, which is a marzipan cake with layers of mocha buttercream and covered with a ganache. There's the frangipan, which is a puff pastry shell with uh, almond paste. We have apple cake, it's a little tart shell with a little apple filling cake and then the fresh slice of apple on top. We have our apple turnovers, they are a very, very popular item. Uh, it's a puff pastry with apple filling and then coarse sugar on top. These cookies here are butter cookies and there's also speculos, which is some kind of a ginger cookie. Our biscuit vanilla cookies is a cookie made with almond paste and meringue and a layer of chocolate buttercream and then they're dipped in chocolate. So everything's made from scratch right here in our own bakery. Um, the raisin rolls, cherry rolls, everything is also a lot of ingredients we make ourselves, like the vanilla custard we make from scratch uh, with milk. We make our own buttercream, our own almond paste, we grind our own almond. We have our breakfast items, which are our raisin rolls, cherry rolls, chocolate croissants. We also have almond croissants, plain croissants. And then here are our desserts. We have our petit fours on here, chocolate delicious, javanais, miserable, chocolate supreme. Everything's made from scratch. 
These are our cookies. We have a couple different kinds of cookies. And then there's the breads. We make different flavors of breads every day. My parents used to have a bakery. We started our own bakery in Belgium. We were about 21 at the time. After nine years, we sold everything in Belgium and moved over here to the U.S. And then we started the bakery here. Well, next in our 2003 uh, Best of Boulder, you're visiting uh, back at Art Hardware. They won the Best Art Supply and Hobby Store. Well, thanks for having us uh, come by your store. This is uh, quite the store. You have huge, huge departments. Can you tell us all about it? When I was going to college, mm -hmm. I worked for Dan Spivak. Had an art store in uh, Denver and one here in Boulder. It was a little store on 14th Street here on the hill. And uh, I worked for him for two years and the store tripled in size. I bought it from him. He financed me. I think it's been three years now. We, the camera just put this category in three years ago and we won it every year. These are just our watercolors. Watercolor pencils over on the other side, egg tempera. Lots of calligraphy, lots of uh, acrylics. Go ahead, walk right in there. This, this uh, aisle is acrylics both sides. These are the oil painting brushes. We have a place where you can, where there's water, where you can t test your brush and see how it points. These are the markers. We have professional grade markers with over 200 colors and two major lines, frames. We have a new wood sectional and some and metal sectionals. We have we have a huge selection of easels and they're uh, all on display so you can see them. This is our pad section. We have just aisles and aisles of pads, different types of pads, lots of hardbound books, watercolor hardbound books, all kinds of journals, make beautiful gifts, a pen and a hardbound book. It's a great gift. Great selection of map boards, illustration boards, foam boards, up to four by eight feet. So this is all canvas and, and gesso. We have a large uh, children's department. Uh, all different types of things for them. Yeah. We have a huge selection of portfolios uh, for with acetate pages for models for presentations. We have large portfolios for artwork. This is our custom framing department. We have one of the larger selections of custom molding in the state possibly. <laughs> uh, this is our repro department. We do architectural drawings, copies of them, black and white. Also a lot of color and signage materials on our HP plotter which does prints and UV inks. Um, this is a sample of a sign we just ran. About five minutes for uh, Jan. Well, that's it here from uh, Art Hardware. Look at this. If you see this, do not come in this door. <laughs> that means I'm on the air. It's live. <laughs> yeah, when you come in this door. Thanks, Tony. Wow. Thanks for the signs. Thank you. All right. We are at Twee's place, Shay Twee. Uh, Best of Boulder. They also won it right here in the uh, Boulder County Gold Awards on this edition of Jan Scott Tonight. Thank you so much for inviting us um, to your beautiful restaurant here today. This, this is wonderful. What, what, you want to tell us about some of the dishes that we have? Uh, what are we gonna eat? Yes. Um, Let's start with this one here and go this This here, way. well, you know, I like to put on the table a little bit of everything, you mm -hmm. know, a little Chinese, a little Vietnamese, a little traditional, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. more like uh, lamb as a Western, uh -huh. you know, but we do a five spice. We, we stay mm -hmm. fairly busy. And you open all the time. Are you open on holidays, no? Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas? We, no, uh, we close Christmas Day, Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and we close like three days out of the year. New Year's, are you open on New Year's or New we Year's We do Eve? open on New Year's because, you know, people coming out for a new experience, oh. you know, uh, New Year's coming. What is this dish That's right here? That's a curry stew. Curry stew. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we offer that in chicken, mm -hmm. uh, beef, lamb, seafood, 
this is the grilled chicken lemongrass. Oh, chicken and lemongrass. We, yeah, yeah, and we uh, even offer that in a curry flavor too. Yeah. Uh -huh. This uh, we uh, mayonnaise them with five spice. Mm. Yeah, and we go, we serve with the coleslaw, uh, like a Vietnamese cabbage, you know, with a tamarind sauce. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we love a lot of people like a lamb because they said um, the bake inside the lamb is still pink. Is this, this is tr traditional Vietnamese yeah, soup? Yeah, so we make out the, the beef uh, mm -hmm. bones, cook it for an hour, and a very, very... Um, a flavorful and, and it's a good dish who like beef and who like seafood. Yeah. 150 menu items at least, huh? Well, we got a lot in there, mix mash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a beef uh, mm -hmm. school. Can you see this one? Yeah. And, you know, we have a spicy uh, mustard sauce to it for dipping. Have a taste. Sesame tofu. Mm -hmm. Look at these. These are so. Do you, you make sesame chicken the same way? Chicken? Yeah. Mm. We have uh, chicken, we have shrimp. We have, we have to grab so that three, mm -hmm. three uh, sesame dish. That's really good. Oh, it's served right up. Mm. This is really good. Not got a lot of rum in there. try this. <laughs> <laughs> in Vietnam, mm -hmm. you know. Um, that's how we serve a coffee. Mm -hmm. And this right down here is a sweetened condensed milk. Mm -hmm. uh, you, mm -hmm. you know, you can serve it um, mm -hmm. hot, mm -hmm. or you can stir it all up, mix the milk with the coffee, you put mm -hmm. it on ice. Mm -hmm. In Vietnam, it's a very hot climate. Oh, yeah. So you, you, you can drink um, ice, or you can drink them hot. While we're here at Jolino's Pizza, our best of Boulder, uh, it's very busy. The high school kids are about to come in. This is Tim Dixon. He's making a pizza. He can't talk to me. He's really busy. Uh, it's okay. Usually they throw me out of here. I came in the back door. Mm. Uh, Jolino's Pizza here on 1647 Arapaho. Right you now. Don't, you don't lift the and throw it over your head and all that? Yeah, I will in just a second. That'll be the famous spinning action. Here we go. Prepare yourself. Whoa! Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. That looks like that Zola grill design. They probably got that from you, didn't they? <laughs> I don't know. Huh? Some pizza maker somewhere. The story of Gelinos. Gelinos has been here since 1986. Uh, here we go with our veggie lasagna with artichokes and spinach and roasted garlic. We've been making this for almost 20 years. It's the same recipe we've had ever since the beginning. It's our Greek salad with uh, Kalamata olives, pepperoncinis, fresh tomatoes, red onions, feta cheese, assorted lettuces. It's got a lot of stuff on it and it's really tasty. This is our August monthly pizza special. We have uh, pancetta, caramelized onions, uh, roasted red bell sauce, uh, serranos, chicken and as you can see the corn on there from Munson's farm fresh from 75th and Valmont and this is just one of our standard Zorbas here with uh, spinach artichokes black olives and feta cheese it's one of our standard gourmet pizzas it's always on the menu mm -hmm. deliveries yeah. what would you like to know about deliveries we deliver everywhere in town mm -hmm. this is one of our best delivery drivers right over here <laughs> my lovely wife Kristen makes all our desserts here this is our monthly special, which is a caramel pecan cheesecake with fresh Colorado peaches and a little syrup. A little caramel sauce there. Very beautiful. Very, very yummy. Over here we have our chocolate truffles. We have uh, brownies. And this is just a regular cheesecake, plain cheesecake. And then this is our tiramisu with our homemade lady fingers uh, and fresh mascarpone and cocoa on the top. Lady fingers soaked in uh, espresso. These are all award-winning desserts. This is what we call the Basemar Center store, located at 2480 Baseline Road. And it is the busiest store, a subway store in Boulder. I also own the Hill store, which is located at 1311 Broadway. Here at Basemar, we also serve breakfast. We start at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday, served till 11. We've got an egg and cheese, a sausage and egg, a bacon and egg, ham and egg. We have a western, which comes with the onions, green peppers, black olives, or whatever choices of veggies you want to put on there. 
the reason Subway is probably most more successful than, than most of the sub shops is because you can pretty much go to any Subway and get the same sandwich no matter where you, what Subway you go to. And you're guaranteed that you'll have the same fresh vegetables, the same bread, the same sandwich. Both the Hills location and the Base Mart location are open till midnight. And we also deliver out of the Hill daily. The number one sandwich in, in the Base Mart Shopping Center Subway would be the turkey sandwich. And I believe the reason why the Boulder people come to Subway to get their turkey sandwich is because we make it right in front of them. They see the vegetables, they're all fresh. They don't have anybody hiding behind a kitchen wall making their sandwich and bringing it out to them. All right, this is a foot-long turkey. Uh, in this case, it's served with lettuce, tomato, onions, green peppers, pickles, black olives. We have seven sandwiches under six grams of fat. A meatball, teriyaki, turkey, club, ham, yeah. cold cut trio, <laughs> turkey and ham, uh, spicy Italian, BMT. This is the Mediterranean chicken salad. Um, it has romaine lettuce, uh, spinach, chicken strips, cherry tomatoes, and uh, green peppers, black olives, uh, shredded carrots, and this is just one example. We also have a garden salad, a chicken Caesar salad, a spinach and chicken salad, and basically any choice of vegetables is your choice on what you want to put on it. And this one's served with a Greek vinaigrette and mm. also feta cheese. Mmm, yummy. That's this right. is a yeah. low carb wrap mm -hmm. and uh, it also comes with onions, green peppers, black olives, mm. chicken strips, bacon, and it's all melted. It mainly started with the Atkins diet mm -hmm. and that's why Subway came out with the uh, low carb wrap and the salads to follow up with uh, for all the people that are on the low carb. <laughs> the uh, chicken teriyaki, yeah. in this case it's served on honey oat bread. The chicken is marinated in a teriyaki sauce. It's served with a sweet onion sauce on there. And this one is with onions, lettuce, tomatoes, black olives. Okay, look at the size of this big bad boy. You can call either our Brace My Store or our Hill Store and order a six foot party sub or a platter for one of your football parties. Another reason we were voted best sandwich shop in Boulder is because of our football game cart. Uh, we have a four foot cart that we take the sandwiches to you, make them in front of you at the game, and you come to our card, order a sandwich, we'll make it right there in front of you. Another way to bring our, the sandwiches to you is that we deliver out of the hill. Um, during the day, you call up Subway, we'll deliver it to you for lunch, you can't get out of the office, and we'll bring it to you. We are here at Fiasco's at uh, 2690 Baseline Road, the best Mexican restaurant in Boulder, of course, with Dan Murray. You have new menu items, plus you have music, and you have breakfast. Since we've been at Fiesco's last year, what's the latest? Well, the main thing is that we now have breakfast. Uh, mm -hmm. We open at 8.30, seven days a week. Right. And uh, we have one of the entrees here. This is the Huevos Rancheros. Yeah. Made with fresh eggs, and actually everything's made fresh here on site. We also have uh, fresh orange juice to go with that. We also have several other breakfast items. Last time we didn't show you the uh, chicken tortilla soup that we have and we also have our flour shell that we make here fry here and this is the wow. taco salad cooking is it's just chemistry um, actually I had taken a couple courses in food chemistry great food and a great service and a fun clean atmosphere um, the summer's uh, the patio has been packed during the summer well yeah there's quite a bit of office crowd that comes in uh, we have live music out in the patio while the weather is good and uh, that always brings a great crowd. We have it on Thursday nights and during the summer we have it on Saturday and as winter comes it'll just be on Thursday. But before the band starts we've got two for one drinks, margaritas, beers, and uh, we're across the street from the campus. Thanks for inviting us here to the restaurant. We went through the food line. We watched you cook all of these uh, terrific dinners. Over here, we have a smothered shredded beef burrito. Um, we have a fish taco right here. We have our own homemade margaritas wow. here. Um, here we have a vegetarian enchilada. Um, over here, we have a chicken taco. And we have chips that we fry every morning. Well, no, you should pick it up. You can put a little extra salsa on there if you like spicy stuff. 
Okay. Yep. And that's got a little bit of cilantro lime rice. It's got a um, chipotle cream sauce on there. This is how we start our tacos. You spray uh, this griddle with a little bit of oil. Put a little bit of salt down. Put two corn tortillas on, a little bit of oil on top, and then we put it into the press. This way we can get the authentic flavor in a fast style. Sure. On this edition of Jan Scott tonight, we're back at Fiasco's for salsa music. See the girls spinning and dancing. Well, on this edition of Jan Scott Live, we're at the Reef for our Christmas party. Merry Christmas, everyone, here on a Christmas Eve. Big fashion show coming up. Meet the cast of uh, Jan Scott Live. Uh, and it's a benefit for CATV Channel 54. Come on in, see the big show.
The suit is $66, and the skirt is $36. The hat is also $36. Thanks, Tia. Yeah, Jen. Jen is wearing a Roxy Great Halter set. Roxy Blue hat skirt. Tidex, excuse me. Sunglasses are by Roxy. Her suit is $82 for the set. The skirt is $38, and the sunglasses are 70 Thank you, Jen. Sarah has on body pillow separates in turquoise. And she also has on Billabong long board shorts. The shorts retail for $42. The suit is, the top is $40 and the bottoms are $26. Her sunglasses are by Roxy in white and they are $65. Thank you, Sarah. Last, we have Trisha. And Trisha is wearing a Billabong halter set in a great floral print. She's also wearing a point conception skirt with a drawstring waist. The suit is $68 and the skirt is $40. Looks beautiful. Love the tan. And that is all that we have for this evening. I want to thank you all for being here. And we are going to turn it back to Jane. In the hood. No. It's high points. High points. So tans for everybody got uh, spread out tans. Well, uh, that pretty well brings us close to a close. We have a lot of uh, celebs are in the house tonight. City Councilwoman uh, Crystal Grace here. Yeah. Supporting CATV. All right, there's Andy Berge, the uh, guy that does the music show. It's called Rock and Roll. Mike Beer with the Sports Connection in the house. Right. <laughs> well, we have the ACLU's here tonight to protect our interests. Oh, there's Bill Hamill from uh, Home Movies. Right. 